Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally, where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. He can't do that! Get off my stuff! What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? Get out. Oh, that poor house. You're under arrest. I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. Why am I being charged? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the arrest video of Tua Pri. Now you're probably wondering why he was arrested. Well, it is the stupidest reason why. Failure to obey. He was issued multiple citations for tinted windows. Yeah, he got arrested over tinted windows. He was issued multiple citations, refused to fix it, and is still continuing to drive on it. Now, the police department, they had enough of it. They said, you're going in handcuffs. So let's sit back, laugh, and have a good time. Enjoy. How's it going? Hey, good officer. Good. How are you? Pretty good. I'm supposed to police tomorrow. The reason for the stop is the windshield tent, okay? Oh, yes, sir. All right. You got your driver's license? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I got to, I got, I'm going to have to clarify, I'm going to have to, like, uh, resolve the situation because I got a little court thing coming up for it. Okay, for what? For the freaking tents. For the tent? Yeah, so I gotta see like a judge in like a couple weeks. Okay, why is that? Oh, because they pulled me over for the... <laughs> yeah. Okay. alright. Yeah, no, I understand though, it's like against... You're not supposed to have any tint on the thing, and it's like a, a below a certain line, the ABS line or whatever yeah, it's called. Yeah, You gotta love how stupid these frauditors are. You know, you've been cited multiple times for the tent and windows. Instead of fixing it right then and there when you get home... You just keep driving around with it, and you keep getting pulled over. How stupid can you be? One line. Yeah. yeah. Okay, where are you coming? Oh, no, I was just sleeping. So You're I'm going sleeping? To, yeah, so I'm just going to the gym now. Okay, you stay at the Airbnb? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Yep. All right. We have the registration and insurance. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, And there. What kind of supplements do you take for the gym? Um, I... T I try not to do too many supplements, but I do, um, like, chicken and rice shakes. I know that sounds weird. Yeah. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f I prefer, like, animal protein as opposed to, like, whey protein because it's not as natural. <laughs> yeah. So did I hear him correctly? Chicken and rice shakes? That is absolutely disgusting. It just sounds disgusting. Chicken and rice is what I feed my dog when she's sick. Now, they're going to question this fool on what he's on because they at first they thought he was on some kind of supplement that's really making him jittery and goofy. But later on, they think he's on something else that he's not supposed to be on. Now, I know for a fact I did take creatine years ago when I was in the military. And let me tell you, that was something. Your face gets all tingly. And I mean, you're energized, but your face gets all tingly and it's just a weird, weird feeling. But it worked. I got yeah. You. Okay. Um, but I honestly don't know, because this says like, uh, where is it? It says ex expired. But it's everything's all up to date. I don't know if you can look it up in the system or anything. Okay. I'll uh, yeah, I'll go take a look. All right, just hang time for a minute. All right, take time. All right. Hey, how you doing, brother? How you doing, Sergeant? I'm doing What's up, man? fantastic. What are you stopping for? Oh, for the tents. I know you. You're uh. Ah, tool for you. Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm sending to the gym. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I understand though. I, I know it's a it's the thing. What do you see? You, you said window tent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you measure it already? Oh uh, no, not yet. Where's it halfway out? Raise so, your window about. Oh yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Okay. I got you. Take your time. I don't know the laws in Florida and pretty much any other state on on window tent because I really never use this stuff for for vehicles. For houses, I did, but not vehicles. But it doesn't look too bad for the front window. I, I mean, I know you don't want it so black that you can't see out of it. But the side windows, the door, the passenger and the driver's side, and I don't know the back windows yet, they just look completely solid black. He's on his way to the gym. He's taking food. I asked him if he took any supplements. He said no. Oh, well. 
search him in you know, 31. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's either pre-workout or 31 speed. Yeah, because it's not... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's either yeah, it's either coke or meth. You lie! You lie! Oh come on, officer, you're lying right there. He's not under the influence of any kind of drugs or any kind of alcohol. He's a model citizen. No frauder ever lies. They always tell the truth, and most importantly, they're model citizens because we all know frauders. They're fighting for our rights. So, you know, they have to be transparent. They have to be on the up and up. They can't be pedophiles. They can't be sex offenders. They can't be woman beaters. They can't be wife beaters. They can't be child abusers. They're model citizens. Can check his window tent? Multiple times for the one yeah. yeah, I gotta see the drug. Here, here the gym is taking pre workout. I asked him if he took any supplements. He said no. Search him, baby. 78. Is he the pre workout of 31 speed? Yeah, because that's not. Because I, I, I've seen, I've seen pre workout. His eyes are not pre workout. They're pinpoint. You see the bloodshot, like the vessels. Yeah, it's, it's either, He's on coke. Yeah, coke He's on coke. We're on that. Yeah. Well, I, I stopped him. I stopped with the windshield. So. Now we know the frauditor took something that he's not supposed to. Now, I could tell you from experience with pre workouts that some of them, and I, I only used them once or twice because that's how strong and potent they were, that I was jittery. You've been stopped multiple times. <laughs> yes, sir. Multiple times for the windshield. Yeah, yeah, I gotta see the drug. Here, this is my house. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me when you have like seven citations for it. Yeah, I know. I got Stop breaking the law, asshole! I gotta see the judge that's coming up here on the street. Uh, I think it's like the 14th. Of okay. So he's probably gonna make me take it all off or whatever. Yeah, if you're Otherwise, lucky. he's gonna suspend uh, my license. 100%. Okay, here's the deal, bud. Um, are you under the influence of anything? No, sir. Not at all? Nope. Haven't taken anything? No. Okay. Pre workout? Did you take uh, any pre workout? No, no. Okay. All right. Now, later on in the video, when they're searching his vehicle, they find that he has a medical marijuana card. So all he has to do is just say, you know what, I smoked some weed a little bit ago, maybe about an hour, two hours ago. I just took a little puff and that's it. So what I'm going to have you do is just try the vehicle for me and step out, okay? Um, uh, right now, I have reason to believe that you may be under the influence. I want to run you through some field sobriety exercises to determine that, okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay. Sorry. All right, when you step out, I'm going to pat you down really quick, okay? All right, so I can't wear my hat? Yeah, can... just keep the hat off on me, okay? Uh, all right. For yeah. now, just wear... face it right, off on you. me, okay? How are you? Take your hands, put them on top of your head. All right, so... For now, just wear... face it right, off on me, okay? How are you? Take your hands, put them on top of your head. All right, sounds good. This isn't moonshine, is it? Uh, no, sir, that's water. You can test it if you want. Yeah, can I check the car? Yeah, oh, uh, well, no, I don't consent to any searches and seizures, but that's water. Well, I gotta check it to see if it's water. So, what is it? You just said he could check it, but now all of a sudden, oh, you can't check it. So, you're basically admitting right there that it's not what it is. And, officer, officer, please put gloves on when you're touching frauditors. They are the filthiest human beings on earth. Uh, <laughs> you, want me, you want me to get it out? You don't 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 want me to not at all. Not at all. I have no. Okay. You sure about that? Wait a minute. It says audio muted by police. Sound will resume shortly. According to the frauditors, every video you watch when a police officer mutes the, the camera, 
Oh, that's a crime. You're committing a crime. You're tampering with evidence. So which is it? They're a lot of muted or they're not a lot of muted frauditors? Hey, uh, I'm going to take him over to the sidewalk over here. We're going to do it over there. So let's walk over here, okay? All right, sounds good. Hey, can you stay 10-12 with them and grab my stuff? How many tickets you got for 10? See, I forgot, but I'm, so I have to see the judge, like I was saying, I think it's like the 14th of August. So I mean, you just got it. You just got one yesterday, right? Yeah. So freaking, I got to hand. I got to take all the stuff off. The judge is probably gonna make me take it all off. So instead of being proactive and removing the tent yourself immediately when you got your first citation, you decided to leave it on. And what you got six or seven citations for the same thing. So that's gonna show the court that you don't care that you give a rat's behind about that. See if you took the initiative and removed that after the first citation, you probably could have went to the court, showed him, showed the judge the proof that it was removed, and he'd probably dismiss it. I don't know, maybe you're familiar with the process, but I mean, obviously it can't continue because and you guys then, are And like, then it's just the guy you stopped yesterday and... Call on to front, again. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right now, you can only do FSEs. Oh, okay. Step over here for me. All right. Oh, okay. Step over here for me. All right. All right, turn around and face me. All right. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to take your feet and place them just like this for Can me. Can I take my sandals off? Uh, yeah, if you're comfortable doing them without the sandals, absolutely, oh, yeah, yeah. go ahead. That right there should be a crime. Wearing socks with sandals. Who in their right mind does that? I bet you the people in that stand are having a ball laughing so hard at that idiot. Okay, I know. You're good. You can relax. You can put your shoes back on and stuff. He's, he's definitely on 31, but his his field sobriety is okay. Yeah. 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 I don't know if he's allowed to smoke on the job, but he should probably get rid of the, rid of that because one, it stinks; two, it's very unhealthy for you; and three, it's just disgusting. But this is the guy that's going to seal the fate of this moron. He's going to tell him what he was charged with, why he was pulled over the other day, and that's when the cuffs are going to come out and. Well, I'm not going to spoil it. Don't obey your lawful command. Refuse to obey police. And I told him yesterday that car could not be driven on a Florida roadway. And if you don't find it on that, look for a felt obey lawful command. Because I told him yesterday. That guy just sealed the fate for the frauditor. And the best part about it is the frauditor is probably going to be back on the street doing the same thing, driving around with a tint still on the vehicle. Doesn't he look really nice with the silver bracelets on? Look at the silver and black. I mean, that that's just, that's just color right there. That really is. He should wear that more often. Can you handle, can you handle the toe for me? Money. Hey, go and call for it. You got shorts underneath these pants? No. No? Where is this stuff that's in this I feel right here then? Uh in like the zipper pocket there? Yes, I'm in the zipper pocket right no, now. No, oh, is there yeah, another yeah. pocket behind it? Yeah, oh, okay. It's like a slip. Interesting, okay. I think I'll be out today. I oh. do not know. If I'm out, I'm getting my back 
bicep workout in today. You're getting your what? If I get out today, I'm getting my back bicep workout in. You are a meathead. <laughs> So when you get released from the jail, instead of going home and fixing the problem, getting the tin off your windows, you want to go to the gym and work out. I could see where your priorities are because you're, it's going to continue. The same cycle is going to continue again. You're going to go to the gym, probably in the same vehicle if it's not impounded, and guess what's going to happen? You're going to get arrested the same day or the next day. <laughs> I didn't understand what you said again. He said he wants to work out. Oh, okay. I'm still getting back by him today if yeah. I get out. Oh, he's not going to have to worry about getting a workout. He's going to get a workout when he goes to jail and meets Bubba. Uh, hey, I get that. I get that. Be sure to uh, give him a ticket for every day. What's that? We can get your stuff. We'll get your stuff because we have to do inventory of the vehicle anyways. Oh. Hey man, before we start we look in that vehicle, is there anything in there? No. We're going to have to do an inventory, which means that we have to go through the vehicle. So. No. That's what we're going to find. Nope. Okay. I, I get you. This Give is so in. uncomfortable. Can I like sit? You know, I'm, you know I'm a good dude. Can I stand here for a second? Mm. I'm not going to like What you can do is you can scoop more that way and spread your legs out. Sorry about oh. You know, the way he sat in that vehicle and the way he started crying a little bit about not being allowed to keep his feet hanging out and the door being open, it made me think about somebody. And I'm not going to spoil it. Let's just sit back and, and watch it because it is great. It's the best video ever. Enjoy. Oh, but please, sir, please don't make this thing again. I'm so I'll beg you. We're not criminals. They're going to make way. me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please. Dude, please. Sir, please. Oh, my Come God. On, don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what think. you're doing to me, man. Why? If you want to inventory that car, you can. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just big you can show use of 1015 rep at $360. Three six hundred dollars. Three sixteen dollars. Twenty six. You're do you're doing the inventory. No, he's done thirty Okay, cool. Look at this, man. Twenty five. Yeah. Oh, too bad that officer didn't read them off. They're probably all the citations that he got for the window tint. What a complete imbecile. What was that one movie where the guy opens up the glove box and all the tickets fall out? Was it Liar Liar with Jim Carrey? I just went through the jury instructions, so I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions to kind of hit that, okay? So yesterday you stopped him, correct? Stopped him, tinted windshield. He said he didn't realize it. Yep. Had him checking David. Mm -hmm. He had four prior yep. citations. I saw that. I read him a fifth, and I also read him, wrote him a criminal for felon to obey police. Yep. Told him and told him verbatim, that car cannot be driven on Florida roadways with improper and safe equipment. And then today he's obviously operating and, the vehicle again with the same him, tent. And had him t call a tow truck, which he did. He uses Hodges. And uh, then today he's out driving it again. So with the I can honestly tell you, I never heard anybody admit a frauder was smart. And this guy, he takes the cake for stupidity. He really does. He knowingly drives with five or what is it, five, six citations for the same exact thing. What do you think was going to happen? Same tent you saw yesterday? Yep. All right. Appreciate you. <laughs> so, so it, it's, I wasn't going to put it on the radio, but basically, this is the guy that rigged and stopped yesterday for the tent and turned his car. Uh, okay. So he's out driving again after, yesterday for the same yep, so after Rigdon told him yesterday, you can't drive. So Rigdon came out, he's like, I was doing FSCs on him. I called you out here because he is on 31. Yeah, he's definitely on 31. I did the FSCs and he passed the FSCs, so I can't okay. touch him on the, third, on the DUI case. But he's. All right. I was just. I was, what the hell? Take him. Fuck him. Yeah, no, I just. I had to get with Rigdon because I went to the jury instructions and I just had to validate what exact order did you give him yesterday. He's like, I told him he could not operate this vehicle on roadways and told him today. So. That's 316 violation. That's criminal, criminal 316. How great is that? 
to have the officer that pulled you over yesterday and cited you for the same thing arrive to the scene where you're being pulled over and cited for the same thing. How great is that? That's karma in the works. I got one real arrest. I had one. I just had a real arrest uh, Friday. No, yes, that wasn't on our spot. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, boss. At this point, you are under arrest. You understand that, right? Yeah, I'm your first real arrest under the squad, right? No, 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 no. Not, not my first under this squad. My first of this tour. Oh, this tour. Yeah, no, no. This isn't my normal shift. I normally don't work with these guys. I work on the opposite side. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. I think you're under the influence. So you're, you are definitely chill for most of the under the influence people I've dealt with. I will say that. I'll give you that. I think that you're under the influence, but I don't think you're under the influence to the point where you're impaired. So. Now, if you look at this, he has two court dates in front of the same judge. And then with this case, he was charged with failure to obey a police and issued a ticket for the dark tints. He was booked into the jail and released on a $500 bond. See, that's the problem right there. The judges are releasing these idiots out on a low bond, if any bond, and they're going to com continue to commit crimes. Put them on a $100,000 bond, a half a million dollar bond, and make it straight cash. Because you know what? They'll just sit in jail until the court case is over with. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Somebody call the police on these! Somebody call the police! He hit me in the nut. See, they don't understand that I'm very well educated. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally be Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. 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 Not trailer trash. What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're putting your hands on this. Yes, it is. Who are you? Who are you? I'm on a public sidewalk, bro. Yes, I am. I'm on a public sidewalk. Call the police. Get your phone out. Call the police. Call the police on this. Hey, hey. This is a sidewalk, bro. Wow. I'm not in jail. Well, they locked me in the damn elevator. Yeah. It, 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 it wasn't me. <laughs>